In this video, we're going to be talking about how to solve a breaking distance or stopping distance problem that involves a person's reaction time. The problem says a car is going 18 meters per second, which is about 40 miles per hour, and sees a red light. It moves seven, seven and a half meters until the brakes are applied. Then the car slows at a rate of nine meters per second squared. What is the person's reaction time and what is their braking distance? So it's a two part problem where the car is initially going at a constant velocity of 18 meters per second. So we'll go ahead and label our picture. There's the first portion of the motion where the car is going at a constant velocity. And for the second half, they are going at 18 meters per second at the very beginning when they first apply the brakes. And because it is a stopping distance problem, we know they're going to be coming to a stop zero meters per second at the very end. And they're slowing down at a rate of nine meters per second squared. So I'm going to put negative nine meters per second squared to show that they're slowing down. If it was positive nine, that would be speeding up. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve the first portion of this problem. Uh, we're looking for the reaction time. So we can go ahead and use our constant velocity formula, which is delta x displacement over time equals the velocity. And this one's a pretty simple calculation. We know how far they moved. They moved seven and a half meters We're looking for the time and we know they're moving at a velocity of 18 meters per second. So we can go ahead and solve for that time. All right, so what I did is I just cross multiplied the T and the 18 and they just switched places. So I had a seven and a half divided by 18 and that gave us a final reaction time of 0.42 seconds. Um, I like to use this cross multiplying step, which is the same thing as multiplying both sides by T. In that case, the T would pop over on this side and you would divide both sides by 18, but either way, you would still end up doing seven and a half divided by 18 to get your reaction time of 0.42 seconds. Now for the main portion of the problem, let's look for the breaking distance. So with the breaking distance problem, you'll typically only need two numbers because you know that they're coming to a stop at the end. We know a stop means a final velocity of zero meters per second. And the most useful equation to us is definitely going to be the acceleration formula that involves VF squared, VI squared, the acceleration and the delta x. Okay, so we know the final velocity of zero. We know the initial velocity of 18. We know it's slowing down at a rate of negative nine meters per second squared, which means that the car is um, losing nine meters per second of velocity per second. And then we can go ahead and mathematically solve for that delta x, that displacement, that stopping distance or braking distance, and that will give us our final answer. So let's go ahead and plug in those numbers do a little bit of algebra and see what we get for that delta x. So we got a final answer of 18 meters. Our delta x for the second portion of the car's movement is 18 meters. It moved seven and a half meters for the initial portion. And then while the brakes were being applied, this chunk over here, it moved a total of 18 meters. 
A lot of times when you're solving a breaking distance problem, this formula right here is going to be the most useful to you because you can use uh, the VF of zero, which you're often um, given. It's basically implied because it's a breaking problem where something comes to a stop. So as long as you have an initial velocity and acceleration, then you're good and you don't need the time. So what I did is I put in the zero over here, zero squared equals zero. So my whole left side of the equation is zero. We have 18 squared, which is 324 plus two times that negative nine. So that negative 18 times delta X. So I scoot that 324 over to the opposite end and I have negative 324 equals negative 18 times delta X. Finish off by dividing both sides by negative 18 and I have a final answer of 18 meters. So I hope that was helpful in helping you solve for the reaction time of the car and the braking distance. Thank you for watching and listening.